<coughs> well, aloha. <coughs> we are looking at the third pace in Algebra 2, 1123. I'm going to just give you a little introduction here to graphing lines. They call them linear equations, but basically the root word is line. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm in an aloha shirt because, well, for one thing, it's evening. And um, I wanted to relax. So I took off my tie. And uh, secondly, I um, grew up in Hawaii. I don't know if you knew that about me, but my parents had been missionaries in Hawaii. So I grew up there from the time I was in third grade all the way through college and got married, took my wife back there. My first child was born in Hawaii before we moved here to Pennsylvania. And it's kind of cool, in Hawaii there are a lot of different people, groups, and cultures. Did you know that there actually are no Hawaiians? Did you know that? All the Hawaiian people have basically intermarried with other people groups and someone who is maybe only a small percentage Hawaiian blood calls himself Hawaiian, but there's nobody that's full-blooded Hawaiian. We do have a lot in Hawaii, a lot of Filipino, a lot of Samoans, uh, Chinese, Japanese, I mean, just all kinds of different nationalities, even uh, Puerto Rican, you know. So uh, it was a real mixing pot, so it was kind of neat. I grew up in that kind of a uh, culture, multicultural um, thing. And um, interestingly, as I'm working on this Pace Success website and videos, I'm getting a lot more feedback from students who actually live in other countries. I uh, just heard from a student in New Zealand the other day, and um, someone in the Philippines. I hear from students in Africa frequently, on North Ireland, um, England, all over the place. Mexico, a lot of students in Mexico. So uh, we're actually kind of a multicultural uh, family that use these paces. It's kind of cool. All right, so whether you're homeschooling or in a small Christian school, we are happy that you are with us. Let's talk about graphing um, inequalities, or excuse me, linear equations. <clears throat> Do you know, even if you did uh, this back in Algebra 1, maybe it was two years ago and pre-Algebra was a while ago, we have two axes. <clears throat> the x-axis goes across. Here uh, in the United States, sometimes we'll see a sign, you know, you know that'll say no, you know, Xing, which means no crossing. Okay, so this goes across the board, and we should put an arrow at each end because actually these numbers go infinitely in both directions. And this one is kind of like just a regular old number line where the zero's in the middle, and then one, two, three, four, five, and it just keeps going. And then we go in the negative direction, negative one, negative two, negative three and it goes infinitely in that direction. And then I always tell my students that the y-axis, see the long tail on the y? So y with a tail, so the y is this axis here. So I'll put it right here, and that's, you'll be able to remember why we did that, okay? So the x goes across, y goes up and down. Then we can take any random point, you know, like negative three, two, and we can find that point. Again, hopefully this is review for you, but maybe you need this little reminder. The first one is always the X, second one is always the Y. So it's just like alphabetical order. And so we're gonna find the negative three on the X axis, and then we're gonna go up to the two here, and we're gonna see where do these intersect, and they intersect right there at that point. So that is the point, negative three, two. Okay, um, I had a student a few years ago who had been in a different school before and he said, his teacher said, um, taught them that you crawl before you stand up, which is true. I've got five grandkids now and I know exactly that's what they do. They learn to crawl and then they start standing up. So we crawl out. So if I'm gonna do, let's say four, negative two, I crawl out here to the four and then because it's negative two, instead of standing up, we're gonna go down two. So this would be this point for negative two, okay? So I think here on page three, um, the first couple here, one and two, they give you all of the points and you need to graph them. Now, if one of them does not line up with the other ones, you did it wrong huh? because they're all gonna line up on a straight line. So check your work, okay? And we need at least two, 
I mean, two is the absolute bare minimum. We should have three points, preferably four or five. And if they're all in a line, then we know we did it correctly. Okay. The last one on the bottom of the page there, wow, they have a lot of points for you to graph. And um, it says plot these points and connect the dots. I don't think that one's going to be a straight line, as, our, as just looking at it. That's, there's no way that's a straight line. Uh, so maybe it turns out to be, you know, connect the dots, some kind of a picture. But you have to do that on separate graph paper, okay? So hopefully you have some graph paper. If not, there are websites you can actually go to. Uh, just do a Google search for print graph paper. And uh, you can just bring up a template and print it out on a printer, and then you can label it the way they tell you to do it here on page three, okay? All right, I'm gonna do another video for pages four and five. Hang on.